Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In today's video, our group will be presenting to you guys about our mini project with a title Electricity Bill Calculator Before we start, I would like to introduce to you guys our group members First of all, we are really grateful because we managed to complete this mini project within the, the time given by our lecturer Madam Dr. Nordiana Mika. This project is barely impossible to be done without the amazing cooperation and effort of our group members. We also sincerely thank our lecturer for the guidance and willingness to help us in completing this project and surely for teaching us this course. Last but not least, we would like to express our gratitude to our family members too who keeps on encouraging us all this time. Nowadays, a lot of people are struggling to check for their electricity bill for each month. So, we try to provide a simple way to match the electricity bill calculator. This will make people easier to check their electricity. Okay, here are our objectives for our uh, mini project. Uh, we have three objectives. For the first, uh, to make people easier to check their electricity bill. And second, to make people more acknowledge about a new technology and for the last is to make the system more efficient okay for the flow chart you guys can scan the QR to see it after we count the amount the amount we calculating with KWTVP and service tag for the final result it will display bill number username ID house number and total amount that user need to pay after that, it go to the end of the program. For the case 2, if a case 2 is true, it will display pricing and user need to put total unit as a capacity of electric that user use. It also same like a case 1, we use if a statement to declare each capacity of electric then follow by its price. After we got the amount, the amount we calculate with KWTVP and service tag. Then, it will display bill number, username, ID, house number and total amount. Then, go to the end of the program. So, here are the sample inputs for our electricity bill calculator. So, at the beginning of this code, we firstly declare the function before proceeding into the main function. In the first section of the main function, we'll first declare all the necessary variables before using them inside our codes. And then we call out the function before prompting the user to enter the information. For option 1, it is for residential buildings, while option 2 is for industrial buildings. And we assign the option 1 as case 1, with its content displaying pricing for in, in kilowatt per hour. After showing all of the pricing in kilowatt per hour, uh, if else statement is used to make the formula for the pricing in case 1, which is the residential building option. As you can see, the KWTBB formula is actually a formula to add extra 6% to for our for, for the service tax, while 1.6% for the KWTBB. And then, uh, all of the print out statement will show out all of the information we enter at the beginning while at the same time we will the total amount as final results now if we move to the case 2 which is the option for industrial buildings you will notice that the pricing is different since it will only count two level of pricing instead of five level in the in, in the residential after showing the price we will prompt the user to input total units consumed in kilowatt per hour. We also use if else statements to define the formula of the pricing with the directly the same formula for the KWTBB and the service tax, just like uh, before. Since our coding only provides option 1 and 2, so we decide to reject any other option other than that with the help of default case statements where it will print out error message lastly is the function definition where we use array to print out text 
to, to print out text, please fill up the information below and then the results of this printf statement will be projected in the function call added in the main function. Okay, here our sample output. First of all, we need to enter our username and make sure uh, our username is uh, without space and we need to enter user ID and make sure the maximum uh, the number for user ID is 5 digit only and we need to enter the house number uh, after that uh, we need to choose between option 1 or option 2 uh, for option 1 is residential and option 2 is industry that is a uh, type of billing and for our group uh, we choose for number 1 and uh, information uh, of pricing for residential billing is displayed and we need to enter total unit consume what we use for example 600 so uh, billing number we display billing number is the um, pointer address for variable uh, PTR series the for the last total amount service tax uh, will add to the price that amount is six percent and KWTBB also will add to the price and uh, the amount is 1.6 percent so the overall uh, total for our uh, electric bill is RM 249 ringgit and 42 cent. For example, I'll put for industrial, user need to put user name, user ID, and your house number. User need to choose number 2 for industrial. For industrial billing of Cop City Electric will be shown to your user. After that, user need to put total unit in kilowatt per hour. For the result, you will show bill number, username, ID, and lot number that user put. For a total amount, it will calculate with service tag and KWTBB. Here we can see that user put 1500. So total amount will become RM698 and 65 cent. Okay. Here our discussion. For our discussion, number one is to make easier to check electric. So people can check their electric capacity usage of what and manage to save more electric. And second, to make people more acknowledge about the new technology. So people will become more professional to use the new technology and people will not be outdated with uh, the help of the new technology. And for the last, to make the system more efficient. Uh, that will to make the electricity bill system in our country more advanced compared to the uh, other country and our country will have more efficiency. Summary In conclusion, the mini project is done and capable to calculate the electricity bill. The program uses various of concepts such as selective structure, pointer, array and more. Even though we have a lot of problem to make it, you are able to go through it. Here is our coding for electricity bill calculator. You guys can scan the QR or click the link to see the coding. So I think this is the end of our video. I hope 